Hi there, this quick video is for situations where um, you already know how to find the volume of a sphere. Maybe you've watched my other video on that. In fact, here's the formula for the volume of a sphere. It's 4 over 3 pi r cubed. I'm going to put the 3 on the bottom like that. This is our formula for the volume of a, of a sphere or a ball. And sometimes you get questions where they tell you the volume and you're supposed to come up with the radius. Okay, sometimes they give you the surface area and you're supposed to come up with the radius and that was a previous video I just did. This one is what happens when you are given the volume and you're supposed to somehow solve for the radius. Well here's what you would do. We have a situation where we have a sphere with a volume of 6800 cubic centimeters. Okay, uh, I guess I won't write the equal sign there. There we go. I will write the 6800 right here. 6,800. Over here we have 4 pi r cubed over 3. Now what we want to really do is get this r cubed all by itself. And the way to do that, we there's a number of ways to do this. We could get rid of the 3 first of all in the bottom. And the way to get rid of that 3 is to multiply this side by 3 and do the same thing to this. Multiply both sides by 3. So you take your trusty Windows calculator or whatever calculator you have, if you have a Mac or a cell phone, and multiply that by 3, 20,400. Okay. Whoops, I meant to do this in yellow pen. 20,400. And these 3's cancelled. 3 divided by 3 is just 1. That's why we multiplied by 3. We were getting rid of this 3 here. And over here we have 4 pi r cubed. We're, we're going to run out of space here. Maybe I'll just go like this. And I'll extend the page. There we go. And then now we want to get rid of this 4 pi. We want r cubed all by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 4 pi. Hopefully you've watched the previous videos so that this isn't such a strange thing what you're seeing here. 4 pi divided by 4 pi just leaves us with 1. So r cubed will be all by itself. And this is something we're going to need the calculator for. 20,400 divided by, and I'm going to put it in brackets, 4 times 3.14. And I get 1624.2. I'm just going to round it off. 1624.2. Okay, the very last step that we need to do here is take the cube root of both sides. Because there's cubing going on here, there's to the exponent 3, the opposite of that is the cube root, which looks like this. Okay, it's not the normal square root sign, it's the cube root sign, okay? There's a little 3 in front of it. So we're going to take the cube root of both sides and the cube root of this side, and what that happens what that does is it gets r all by itself, just r, and we're going to come up with our answer that we were looking for, which was the radius. So, I'm just going to uh, push clear here, 1624.2, and now I'm going to look for the cube root sign, and I don't see it here. Wow, so this calculator doesn't have it automatically. I might have to go There it is. If I push second, I notice that a cube root sign appears right here. So I'm going to hit that now, and I'm going to round it off to one decimal, 11.8. Okay, so 11.8. And let's go back up to the top to see what this means. The radius is 11.8 centimeters, and we just found it. Okay, hopefully that helps with what you were doing in your own homework uh, when you were asked to find the radius given the volume. Um, please check out the other videos I have on how to find the radius given the surface area, how to find the volume of a sphere in the first place, and I've got other videos for similar stuff on pyramids, cones, cylinders, etc. I know I sound like I'm selling candy or ice cream, <laughs> but I am just selling the beautiful art of mathematics.
Anyway, sorry for the bad humor. Hope you have a good day. Hope life treats you well. Take care.